welcome on in, I'm Pengu, and today we're continuing with part 3 of our Magical Delicacy playthrough. So where we left off last time, I think we had uh, a bunch of... <laughs> As usual, I don't know what any of the buttons do. Uh, we have a bunch of quests um, that we need to cook for, and oh jeez. Harvesting is hard in this game. The heck? <laughs> Wait, why am I so bad at this? Okay, <laughs> so I was I was playing Love Ghosty on Twitch the other day, and there's a mini game that's oh my god, there's a mini game that's very similar to this where you have to like. Wait, why isn't it working? <laughs> there's a mini game that's very similar. Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, where you have to like, where you have to press the button at the time. You know, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> it's like that, and I was so good at it. So I don't know why I'm struggling so much with this today. <laughs> In theory, I'm pretty okay at it. Okay, so let's see. We need to make, oh my gosh, we have we have four active quests. We need to make a provision pack. Um, we do not own an oven yet. I'm, it's coming back to me. I couldn't figure out how to get uh, an oven. Wait, what's, what's the difference between this provision pack? Oh, did I pin a recipe? I might have pinned a recipe, let's see here. Active, active, let's... Oh, okay, so I can't pin this. Recipes. Okay, yeah, so I pinned this, but I can't actually make it yet, so I don't have an oven. So I'm gonna go ahead and unpin that, and I'm also going to go ahead and unpin this. Oop, that wasn't the unpin button. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and unpin this because we can't make this yet because we don't have an oven. And let's pin this. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what do all of these buttons do? It does not help, so... Uh, something... I was fiddling around with this a little bit off offline and... Um, I something is funky with uh, like the controller input mapping and my Steam Deck and my controller. Which so I'm playing and recording off of my Steam Deck right now. Um, okay, pin, pin. There we go. I am. I'm playing and recording off of my Steam Deck right now, and I'm using an external controller. I'm using the 8-bit Do uh, Ultimate. Pro controller, whatever it's called, and it has like the switch button layout, so sometimes my deck gets a little bit confused um, about like, <laughs> do you reverse the buttons because they're like backwards from the steam button layout, or do you like not reverse the buttons, or like what do you show, like it, it just sometimes games get very confused, and it turns out that this is one of the games that gets very confused with like telling me the buttons. Um, telling me what buttons do what, so um, apologies for struggling a little bit <laughs> trying to figure out what buttons are doing what because what shows up on the screen does not match my controller, does not match my muscle memory, so it's just, you know, it's a free-for-all. I don't even know what we've been talking about with Hina. I guess, I guess she wants us to make a quest, or make a quest, do a quest, make a thing. <laughs> I guess we're, we're making something in return for something. Okay, we can do that. Okay, okay. So let's... X, wait, nope, that's not the X button. <laughs> nope, pin this, close, leave. Okay. So, did we go shopping at the beginning of this day? I'm sure we did. So maybe I don't need to go shopping again. Um... How's this map looking? Where's our map button? There we go. So... We actually went quite far left last time. Can I zoom out of this? Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Man, I can't wait to discover what else is in this map because this map is freaking massive. Okay. So... Let's just take a look at our recipe book here. What does Hina want? Just something sweet, similar to what I made for Adelaide. Oh, we can do that, right? 
Um, maybe? What did we make for... What did we make for Adelaide? It doesn't say exactly what we made, but that's okay. Um, let's... Where is our, where is our recipe tab? Marzipan? Okay, I can make all of these things, so... Honey spark sugar, hazel flour... So everything needs honey spark sugar to be ground, and then if we add it to either hazel flour, a nut, or a fruit, then we're cooking. Okay, so hey, how... use. No, use. There we go. Um, requires one ingredient, so let's... Let's do this. Wait, wait, wait. Is hazel nut flour the same thing as hazel flour? Oh, honey spark... Honey spark sugar. <laughs> honey spark sugar is what we're looking for, so we have to ground... Grind... A honey spark thing? Question mark? Honey spark. Yeah, that looks right. So let's maybe... Let's just do one. Let's grind it. And then... Let's go on over to our cutting board. Let's not jump at it. We can add... Honey spark sugar. And then... Oh. Honey spark sugar. And then either a fruit or um. Well, I guess we'll add a fruit. Let's do that. And then prepare. Woohoo! Oh my gosh. Alright, uh, in the meantime, let's take a look at what other ingredients or what other quests we have here. Oh no, it's already done! <laughs> oh jeez. Okay, moonberry truffles, a bite-sized sugary confection with a fruity core. That actually looks delicious. I would 10 out of 10 eat that. Alright, here you go, Hina. Ooh. The liver. That looks even better than the other thing you made. Are you helping out now? Walk-up window can now be used. <gasps> Do we have like a drive through at our little store? That's really cute. I said I would. And as my first act as your assistant, I will present my fantastic idea to you. Assistant. Shush now and listen. You're going to like this. You should use this walk-up window here to sell stuff. While you're in town, you could tell customers about it. And if they pass by and need anything, they can have a quick look. As long as you're here as well, of course. And probably only while it's light outside. Is this idea all the help you promised? Pretty much. Great. <laughs> so you're not even going to help me implement this? But that's actually a good idea. Let's do it. I knew you'd like it. Okay, do we have a new guide? Remember to use the walk-up window during the day to sell your wares. So does that mean that I have to, like, be home during the day now? <laughs> you unlock the walk-up window next to the store exit. Use it to sell your leftover wares. The window can only be used during the day. Okay. Is that- is that this? Ah! Sell your unused wares directly. Okay. Can I sell my cooked sludge? Yes, I <laughs> no, I cannot. Um, do I need this raw energy snack for anybody? I don't think so. Let's put it up for sale. Oh, I didn't read about how, how much money to sell it for. <laughs> View your wares that are currently offered to your customers. You can take them back if you decide that you still need them. Well, how am I supposed to get rid, rid of my cooked sludge and my failed meal? <laughs> so, do I just wait here now for someone to buy it? How long does it take to sell? Is it like a shipping bin situation where I come back in the morning and it's gone? Chance to sell possible? Okay, well, I guess we'll keep cooking and just leave that open for a while and see what happens. Alright, so... 
We can't make this. We want to make something. They need to ask me to make me something from her sister Sana's herbs. So we want something earthy and herby, but not soup and not a provision. Are these, do these all count as soups? These stews? No, this is soup. So I can make any of this, right? Something herby and earthy. None of these have herbs. We can't do this because this is soup. We can make this, sauteed vegetables. Uh, wait, no, we don't have a pan. We have a pot. No, this doesn't have herbs in it. Can we not do this one yet either? Maybe not. Spinach cook under moonlight, whoa. And this is provisions, I guess. Mist tincture, cooked sludge. Okay, so I don't think we can make this one yet either, so I'm gonna go ahead and unpin it. How about this? There's more than one princess that only has food on her mind, so we want a dessert that has something ground that's not honey spark and something that's not refreshing. You don't want something refreshing? <laughs> Can't relate. Okay. So, dessert, no honey spark, not refreshing. So we could make this nut tart, but we don't have an oven. All right, we can't do that yet either. Good to know. So we should really be prioritizing trying to get oven and pan. Um, so can we do this one? Seems like Amara felt a little left out, but still keeps thinking of the princess. So for this, we need a baked good that's not sweet and uses only common stuff. How can I see what's common? A baked good that's not sweet and only uses common. I feel like vegetable sandwich should fit the bill, right? A vegetable, a bread, and a spice. Do I have... So maybe I will go ahead and pin this recipe so that I know to use it for Amara. And what do I have? I don't have bread but I'm sure I can make it with this wheat but I maybe I need an oven for that oh my gosh <laughs> there are a lot of steps in this bread vegetable spice okay well we'll we'll keep that on the back burner let's let's just double check this walk up window tutorial all right cool well it doesn't seem like anybody is buying my thing. I'll just leave it open, I guess. And it's wet nine, so... Stay... Maybe I'll go to sleep, because I don't think there's anything else I want to do today. I think tomorrow morning I'm going to check the store again, and then figure out how to get more cooking things more more cooking what what what's it called it's not a utensil it's a a cook cooker cook cookers <laughs> oh wait no i want to just get more than one hour oh no i want to skip till morning so it's 22 o'clock so if we skip uh like eight hours maybe like Let's skip eight hours, and then we'll be morning. Okay, so let's go to the shop. Let's check on our crops. And then see what we can do about getting more cooker cookeroos. Oh, and maybe we should be replacing these crops that we're harvesting. This is not ready to harvest. Or is my bag full? It says my bag is full. Okay. Well, let's plant stuff anyway. Um, we'll plant a dandelion. I forget, do I have to water things? I don't think I do. A timber shade. A honey spark. A gold seed. Just plant one of everything, I guess. And a wheat. Okay, I think that's all I have to do, right? So now if I harvest this, there we go. 
Hurrah. Oh, let's plant that plum back again, too. Nice. Okay. Farming done. Gardening done. Let's go to the shops. I guess I could have woken up a little bit earlier and done that. Oh, no. I keep going downstairs, but I do not need to be going downstairs. Hello. I wonder what's inside the egg. Oh, yeah. We got the egg. I forgot. So you're actually planning on staying? <laughs> There's no way I'm leaving. Couldn't if I wanted to. Great. <laughs> so, what about you? Just living in random empty places? Let's say I'm figuring things out. I'm not really wanted by many. Oh, why is that? You need to ask? Ugh, I'm not like you folks. Let's leave it at that. Interesting. I feel like these NPCs in this game are like quite quite fleshed out, which I like. Why is this glowing red if you're just gonna say the same thing? <laughs> oh, something happened to the egg, it wasn't me. Do you have more things to say? No, you don't. Okay. Um so Nobody bought my thing. But I can't stay here forever, so we're just gonna go. <laughs> All right, how did we get to the shops again? It's like down here, right? Oh, <laughs> I forgot that you can die. Wait, have I been in the sewers yet? Let's not do that. Let's do some grocery shopping first. Bakery? Let's see what's happening in here. No. Before I forget, I got something for you. For me? Here, this can help you keep track of things. Maybe it helps, perhaps it, do perhaps it doesn't help me a lot. I wouldn't be surprised if you can count it all in your head, huh? If not, take it with you to know what to buy. Inventory tracker, that seems helpful. How do I access it? Not like that. Is, is the inventory tracker in my inventory? How do I, how do I access it? What does my inventory tracker do? Heck. Inventory tracker equipped allows wearers to view the amount of ingredients owned and available for recipes slash orders. Oh, so now in my recipes, I guess it says I have zero vegetables and zero breads, but like 12 spices. That's helpful, we like that. What's this? Always active, okay. Man, I'm not looking forward to having to decide which of these things to equip because I know I'm going to want all of them. Do you have anything else to say? Got everything for your baking needs. Uh, what did we need more of? Do we need more of anything? Maybe we'll get, get a bunch of hazels? Maybe we get some rock salts? No, I have no bag space. How do I increase my bag space? <laughs> Is there like a trash can anywhere? That would be helpful. I'd like to get rid of my cooked sludge. Please. Oops. Harvest. No, I have no bag space. <laughs> oh no. Kitchen. Can I, do I have like storage? In my house? Okay. Priority one is no longer going shopping. Priority one is... Uh, oop, dap! <laughs> Just figuring out how to throw things in the trash. Maybe I have like a compost heap somewhere. 
Oh, that looks like a trash can. Can I throw things in that trash can? No, I think that's like a chimney. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense to have a trash can on a roof. Never mind. Ignore me. It's fine. Alright. Let's go home. See if we have like a storage situation here. None of this looks like storage. Maybe up here? Maybe in this thing? No? Oh boy. Alright, so what am I supposed to do about my bag- my lack of bag space? Can I buy a bag upgrade from somebody? Bakery... Stars Forge... Wasn't there a store that wasn't the bakery? No, it was the bakery that was the store. Uh, elevator... Cassia's Hut... Aren't I supposed to be magic? Can't I make something that's bigger on the inside? <laughs> okay, well, let's maybe check out the forge and see if we can get a new backpack forged? Question mark? Where was the forge again? Where's my map? I can't open it from here? Oh, no, there we go. It's up. Hello. I brought specialties from all over the world. Have a look. I want a melon. I don't have bag space. <laughs> no. Well, do you want any of my stuff? I have a lot of stuff. I bought a bunch of- I just bought these, but I'll sell them to you. Because I don't have space. Okay, five is like a nice number. I'm going to buy a melon. Just one. And it doesn't look like I have enough feathers or whatever this currency is called to buy any of the other stuff, so we will leave it at that. Everything all right with the princess? Amara here, always by my side. Wasn't the Star Forge like somewhere else? <laughs> Maybe it's a bit higher up? Wasn't it like. Yeah, it's like here. I don't know what I was looking at before. I'm not very good at reading maps. Have we been in here yet? Is this the forge? This is the catacomb. I can't believe how much there is uh, to explore here. And all I'm doing is running around looking for a bigger backpack. Oh, is this the forge right here? I walked right past it many times. Thank you, Star. Bye, Star. Oh. Star here has told me a lot about, uh, a lot about you. I'm Asa. I'm in a small tea room above the town. Come visit me sometime. I would love to. Bye, Star. Okay, let's go find Asa. Do you have anything new for me, buddy? Ah, don't worry about Asa. She always gets so nervous when she has to leave her home unattended. Just doesn't like to leave it. Relatable, honestly. <laughs> But from what I hear, she's all the more relaxed and friendly when she has guests at her tea room. What can I do for you today, little witch? Oven! Can we buy this? <gasps> yes! Excellent. I'm so glad I left one bag space in my bag for my oven. <laughs> it's not only great for all sorts of meals, but can also be used to roast ingredients. Amaze! I can make you whatever you want. Um, she's a good one, runs a little tea room high up above the town. Comes down here once in a while to get her gear checked. Honestly, I'm surprised she's still making it. She took the shop over from her parents once they passed and has been running it on her own since. But looks like barely anyone makes their way up there anymore. Sorry, I'd make you a nice tea kettle as well. 
but so long as I fear she's struggling, I can't bring myself to do it. Aww. Okay, let's go find uh, Asa's place. Actually, let's go put our oven at home. Maybe let's do some cooking and then we'll go find Asa. Or maybe we should go find Asa because the cooking is going to stay in my quest so I'll remember it. <laughs> but I'm probably going to forget to go see Asa, so... Oven first. Oven first. Do I have space for my oven? Do I have to go to my uh, blueprint thingy to do it? Edit. Alright, so can I put stuff up here too? Why can't I go down here? Oh, I have to I have to go down myself. Okay, so I feel like space is getting a little squishy here. So let's put the oven down. Let's just let's just pick everything up for a sec. Okay, so let's see. Am I gonna get more space? What do I want to- what makes sense to put right by the door? Maybe the oven can go- oops. Pick up oven. How do I- how do I move it? So let's put the oven like right here in the corner. And then we can put the stove right next to it. Or the pot, I guess. And then next to that, I'll put the faucet. And then the cutting board. And then... Oh, no. Can I put... Okay, I have to put some stuff up here. Okay, uh, well... In that case... Maybe I put both of these up here? Can I put stuff over here, too? Hmm, wow. Okay, so there's actually quite a bit of usable space here. How about down here? No, I don't think so. Okay, cool. So I guess we'll put cutting board stuff up here, maybe? I'll put this here. And put this here. Okay, great. I am okay with that. Actually, in that case, I just want to put this stuff, like, closer to the stairs. In case I need to, like, run back and forth. Oops. So let's put the oven in the corner, and then the pot, and then the faucet. Okay, awesome! And can I be done editing? Stop editing. Okay, so let's go back and look at our quests here. So, to follow the provision pack recipe... Oh, I accidentally pinned that, that's fine. Maybe we can make it now. We need rock salt, crop, herb, and mushroom. I think we have those things. Rock salt? Um... Crop? So let's do honey spark for the crop, and then mushroom, pay cap or timber shade, and wait, do we not have any herbs? No, I don't think we do. Okay, I guess we can't make it yet. Oh yeah, I can, <laughs> I can see because of my little inventory tracker thing that I do not have the thingies to do the thing. Um... But that's okay. How about this? So we don't have thingies to do this thing either. Do we have the thingies to do this thing? A dessert that includes something ground with no refreshing and no honey spark? I think so, yeah. We can make this, uh, this, this, this nut tart. So let's grind up some flour. Let's grind up some flour upstairs, and then make that. Mm. 
I'm assuming this makes flour, yeah. This, uh, the array of kernels in this commonly cultivated wheat appear similar. Similar words are hard. <laughs> the array of kernels in this commonly cultivated wheat appears similar to strands of braided hair. Okay, so let's make a nut tart. Can I see my recipes from here? No. Nut, wheat flour, plum. And something sweet, right? Nut, wheat flour, plum, sweet. So we want a nut. Okay. Wheat flour. Plum. And sweet oh but are my sweet things all that honey spark sugar oh no we have new berries okay nice hazel tart bake sure hope this works wait whose quest was i just doing Or Ellie. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's already dark. What a day. So, priorities are going to be looking for a trash can and looking for a way to increase my inventory. So like storage or a bag upgrade or something. Amaze. Okay, so now does it show up as us having something for Ellie? No? Dessert? Refreshing? Ground? Avoid? Honey spark? Oh, are moonberries refreshing? I bet they are. Mm. No, these are sweet. So, my hazel tart should work, right? Or are plums refreshing? Oh, maybe plums are refreshing. Dang. I think that my plum might have been refreshing. Okay. Well, I guess I'll sell this tart. Tomorrow. <laughs> Can I just like, if I put it here, will it take it out of my bag? I think that little blue symbol is refreshing, so uh, that's not gonna work. So let's sell that. Um, how do I change the price for it, though? Alright, well, I tried hitting the buttons to change the price, but it didn't do anything. <laughs> Wait! Hello? Are my controls borked? Did, it, did I break it by trying to put something for sale while, uh, while the store closed? I think I might have. None of my, none of my controls are working anymore. <sighs> Okay, I saved and quitted the game and we're back, so I guess we just encountered a little bug there. Um, so yeah, if you uh, put stuff for sale and then the, the window closes while you're doing that, <laughs> I guess it borks your game a little bit. Okay, so we might as well go to sleep. I, I'm pretty sure we don't actually have to sleep in this game, but um, we might as well. So 22, we wake up at like 6, that's what, 8 hours? Maybe we wake up, sleep for seven hours so that we can do some gardening in the morning. All right. And then we gotta figure out how to make these desserts. None of these are ready. Maybe we should plant some more stuff though. Let's do, I guess, another gold seed and another timber shade. Great. Yay, 
have anything new for me? No, so we're gonna wanna buy probably a pan next, as I was seeing some recipes that needed a pan. Um, and I want more bag space. Does this little red indicator ever go away? <laughs> Cause it shows up here too, there's like a little red indicator on the back. Maybe not, maybe not. Um, so I need vegetables, I need herby things, and I need bag space. So maybe today, and I need money, which I think I need to get by doing quests, but I can't do any of my quests <laughs> because I don't have the aforementioned things. So we need something herby. Baked goods, sweet and common. We don't have anything for that, right? Oh no, we were gonna do a vegetable sandwich for that, but we don't have any vegetables. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so, oops. let's. Let's do a little bit more exploring, I guess, and like see what we can find. I'm just like a little bit nervous to do exploring when I have no bank space. Let's do the catacombs, why not? Oop, he up! I can't jump through that, I guess. Oop. <laughs> No? Maybe I can't do the catacombs yet. So I have to make it all the way across there and I don't think I can? Let's try one more time. Oh, I'm close! Maybe I can do it if I just time it right. Because I don't know how else you would do that apart from double jumping. Oh! Dip, dip. I think I can do it, I think I can do it. <laughs> Let's try again. There we go. Okay, nice. Wait, is that it? <laughs> oh, I unlocked a new palette for my outfit. Oh, that's cool. Go to the wardrobe in your store to change it. That's actually kind of cool. Okay, so there's nothing else to explore down here then? Can I get whatever this thing is up here? It looks like a little cattail hanging from up there. I guess not. Okay. Oh, did I just break something? What did I just get? Did I just get money? Maybe. Oh, nice. So it just like pops you back to the beginning. That's nice. Okay, so I guess there wasn't much to explore in the catacomb, but now we uh, have that marked on our map, which is nice. So yeah, let's just let's just explore. Have I been to the harbor since I unlocked my double jump? Maybe not. Am I gonna die if I jump off this edge? Oh no, we're good. We're good. So it looks like the ends are blocked off, but like, what's down here? What is this? Where are we? I don't think I've been here yet. Cool. Nice. Is this a treasure chest here? No, I don't think so. Whoop! He dead! <laughs> okay, what's here? Aqua farmer huts. Oh my gosh. Is there a reason I should rest? This is nice. I don't think I have like a stamina bar that I need to refill or anything, but it's nice that it like pans over and gives you that little view. Can I pet this cat? No. <laughs> I didn't even see that. Can I jump past this pole? Yes. Anything here interesting for me to look at? Oh yeah, we were gonna go talk to Asa too. Kelp and more. Composed Gabal. You're gonna find the best ingredients from Gratz Farms here. Whatever our farmers produce, I'll sell it to you. 
you look like someone who has a need for what I sell. I'm Finn, happy to help you find the right things. Take a look. Okay. I'm sure these will all come in handy. Do you want... I don't want to sell any of my stuff. I'm like such a hoarder. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Uh, let's let's talk to let's talk to them though. Some say that Gabal cuisine is bland, but those folks have just had their taste buds ruined by lousy food. Let's ask about aquaculture. Haven't seen them, or haven't you seen them? Our great our great farms on the shore of Grat. Or did you never wonder what those fields were? You can see them from all over Grat's cliffs, looking out onto the sea after all. Of course I've seen them. Riga Ball have made good use of the space. Moving from the limited space of the cliffs to the water allowed us to farm lots of produce. A sign of Gabal ingenuity. Take a look at the plants harvested directly from the delicious salt water. They're like growing plants in salt water? That's pretty cool. Any like hidden recipes or anything in here I can Oh! Whoa! Yeah! Nice! You unlocked a new palette for your outfit! Nice! Can't wait to go back and like look at all my new outfits. So this is where I came from. Let's take this elevator. And we're in the sewers again. Okay, cool. So we might as well explore the sewers while we're here. So what are these like little backpacky- Ooh! Oh, cool. Is there anything down here though? Maybe not. Maybe there's like something hidden over here. Oh yeah, there's like a little bit of money. Nice, nice. So I guess I can just like find money. <laughs> around the map. I wonder if it respawns. Or if it's like a one-time thing. Because I'm like breaking these these vases and getting monies, which is quite nice. This game has like such a neat blend, I know I've said it before, of, you know, like management sim and platforming elements. Ah! <laughs> Which is quite fun. How do I get into this area though, for that little hidden chest? I can't like go through here? Okay, so I can't go up that way, I have to go up this way. Crouch. No. Sure is a good thing you don't have to sleep because I could totally- Ah! Ah, no! <laughs> I could totally see myself just getting lost in this map and like stressing about getting home in, in time. But if you don't have to get home in time, that's quite nice. What did that just do? I'm, I'm sure it just opened a door somewhere. Okay. So we can't go this way yet, but uh, let's get out of here somehow. So I think to get to that chest, I need to go through like this, this entrance, because I don't think you can get from this entrance to this entrance, which is what I was trying to do. So I think I have to just go back Ooh! the way that I came. And then next time I come in through the sewers, the, come into the sewers from the top, then I'll explore and I should be able to get that chest, maybe? Nice, okay, well... We found Kelp and more. Bakery, this was the sewers. How come we don't get a little, like... Thingy, a little, a little marker telling us that that's the sewers? We had one for the catacomb. So we want to go... 
up somehow to be able to see Asa's tea house. Let's see if we can do that. Wait, where am I? Is this how I came? <laughs> Aqua farmer huts? That is how I came. Oh, I can break those vases up there to get money, can't I? Yeah. And I already got this thing? Okay. Are we done exploring the harbor? Have we gone down this way yet? Ooh, okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep exploring because it's super fun, like unlocking all of these new areas. Oh no! I have to jump better. Oh, hello! There's a friend up there. How do I get to them? There is little to find out here. <laughs> Still, even this is part of the town. That's why I am mapping it. Even the immediate surroundings make it what it is. Not to mention the island it is built upon. Without this mysterious place, it would not be the same. There wouldn't even be a reason for this town to exist. Alright. Right. I remember. We bought a marker bundle for merchants. I think I want to save up for more cooker things. Because <laughs> this was helpful because we could like mark where the stores are. But I don't think there's anything I need to like manually mark right now. Maybe? So maybe we'll just hold off that for now. I wish I had not jumped off that edge. What's over here? Is this it? Will I jump to certain doom? No, I can keep going. This is certain death. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we explored the edge of this map. Nice, nice. So let's figure out how to get back home and see if we can start jumping up to try to find the tea house. Do I even have to go this way? No, I can just go this way. I guess I can't swim. I love how detailed the uh, pixel art in the background is. This like looks like a very fleshed out world. My husband is offshore all day farming the fields. I wish I could surprise him when he comes back. Maybe with a, a nice day out? What do you think? Does sound nice. We could take a trip to the lighthouse. Or get some nice food. <laughs> a picnic? Genius. A picnic. A picnic at the lighthouse overlooking the bay. That's it? Thank you for your help. I'm Mortimer. Anytime. How about food? For the picnic? Don't know. Any ideas? Ah, look, okay. I know it. Just the right thing. Wait here. I wonder if there's like a max to the number of uh, things we can accept. And if I should be like more uh, discerning in deciding what to accept. Let's see what this uh, quest was. Seabreeze Tonic. 
follow this oh seaweed picnic <laughs> follow the vegetable sandwich recipe oh i was gonna make that anyway i just i just need vegetables Ooh, aqua farming in certain regions oh what that aqua farming in certain regions initially developed in grat aqua farming complements gardening by allowing the cultivation of aquatic plants these plants, generally edible, have been a long-time staple in Gabal cuisine. The Gabal were the first and are still the most skilled and best represented aqua farmers of Altharia. Algae and similar plants are grown closely under the water surface along the shoreline for an ideal harvest. These plants are unfit for home growing because they require specific gear and shallow saltwater areas. Cool. Thought I could la this is like a little bit tricky getting the hang of what you can jump on and what you can't. <laughs> At least for me. Have we explored this area yet? I don't even think we have. Can I like jump further out here? No. Nope. Alright. Let's have this flower. Like, look at the, look at the, all of the detail. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Got distracted looking at the art in the background. Look at all of that detail and, like, those buildings and stuff. Like, look at that. That looks great. vases are respawning because I feel like I run into them like every time I come into town. Okay, that's the catacomb. Alright, we're like, un I wonder what these different like shades mean. I guess it's just to help you kind of organize the map. So, let's, let's try to see how far up we can jump. Oh, I see vases up there. Maybe we should try to get those. Can I, like, I keep expecting to be able to land on these, like, ledges, but I don't think you can. No! <laughs> like, can I not stand on that house? How am I supposed to get all the way up there? Not like that, I guess. We'll leave Grat again soon to visit other places. Do I have, like, social stats in this game? Like, friendship? I don't think so. So I don't need to be, like, worrying about talking to everybody every day type situation. Wait, what is this? Right. So maybe if we take that elevator up, we can, like, go higher? Have we tried that? We must have tried that already. <laughs> we are back where we started. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How am I supposed to get, get to those platforms on the side? I guess we just be patient and go to the top. Do I have an elevator pass yet? I guess not. <laughs> so you take pride in slaying these dragons? When another beast adorns your em emblem? Well, you know, the unicorn is certainly not the same as those dragons. It's an elegant being that represents our courage. But whatever my predecessors did, I'm only interested in exploring this island further than anyone else. Alright, buddy.
So I think we need to get our elevator pass first. Which one of our quests is for an elevator pass? Does it say? Maybe not. Okay, well, we need vegetables. <laughs> vegetables and bag space. The braided petal? I don't think we've been here yet. Welcome to my store. I'm Sana. I have all kinds of herbs and flowers. Oh, we like herbs. I just can't resist their beauty. Herbs are such interesting plants with so many uses. Aha! We need these. A pair of robust gardening gloves made for handling plants? Allows harvesting thorny plants. Ooh, we should get those eventually. But we need herbs first, so let's get uh, some wild vines, because they're the cheapest. <laughs> let's get like three... Oh, I don't have space in my bag! Oh, okay. Buy something from me, please. Man, I've, I've, I've bought too much rock salt. Here, take some of my rock salt. Now, let me buy some wild vines. Great, great, great. Anything for me to pick up here? Any, like, new wardrobe things? Ooh. No? Okay. Excuse me for jumping around your store. Ah, I can't believe I hadn't explored that yet. Go on to here? No, that's not a platform. Can I go this way? No. No, can I? Can... There's a platform up there, I just can't jump up to it yet. Okay, cool. Well, that'll be something to work towards, I guess. Okay, so we got herbs, so that's good. So maybe we can like cook something with our herbs. We just need vegetables still. Alright, let's look at our quests. Um, so for the vegetable sandwich we need vegetable, bread, spice. Do I have a bread recipe? <laughs> Can I make bread or do I need to buy that? Oh, we can make provision packs. Let's do that. Two provision packs. Right? Two provision packs. No foul. Oh, I got foul herbs. Never mind. We're gonna have to go back. <laughs> Ugh. Um, what else? Vegetable sandwich, baked goods, avoid sweet, use only common. I think that's also, we can only do vegetable sandwich for that. Dessert, avoid refreshing, include ground, avoid honey spark. Do I have anything that's not refreshing but is Sweet. So the only thing I have without honey spark is this all port plum thing, but the all port plums are refreshing, so I can't do that either. So I'm gonna unpin this. Unpin this. And I can do this. Herb and earthy. Oh, maybe I can do this. No soup, no provision, something herby and earthy. Main dish? No, I don't have vegetables. Okay, we really need to get some vegetables. <laughs> yeah, we need to get some vegetables because we can't do this either. Alright, so this we can do because we can just go back and get some more herbs. 
Um, we need to figure out where to get vegetables for like these ones. We need to get another recipe for this. We need vegetables for this or another recipe and for this we need vegetables. Okay, so next time we're gonna get vegetables. <laughs> Uh, but for now, I think we'll end uh, this episode here. Um, so we're a little stuck. We have many quests, but we're going to have to figure out how to get vegetables and figure out how to get bag space. So that'll be priorities for next time. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you're enjoying this playthrough of Magical Delicacy. There's uh, a lot more content in this game than I, you know, was prepared for. <laughs> Which is great, I feel like there's still so much I haven't like discovered or figured out, so I'm really excited to keep um, exploring the world of Magical Delicacy. So if you would like to continue to watch, um, make sure you stay subscribed <laughs> or become subscribed so that you know when the next episode comes out. I also do stream over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash pengucrafts, so you are welcome to come say hello to me while I'm live if you would like to. Otherwise, I will see you all back here next time on YouTube. Bye!